for the truth the girls. Hi everyone. Three alternative health doctors found dead in the last two weeks after run-ins with the feds. Just from that headline, it, it sounds like they were murdered. So the first one was Dr. Jeff Bradstreet. Uh, he was found in a river with a gunshot wound to his chest. Police claim it was suicide, but it looks suspicious. And then there was Dr. Bruce Hendedal of Miami area found dead in his car with no explanation. And the third one was Dr. Teresa Sievers, another natural health doctor from Florida. She was murdered by an unknown attacker in an upscale neighborhood that experiences very little crime. So who was this Dr. Bradstreet? Well, you know what? I looked him up and I found an article about him on Quack Watch. Okay, this would be like the worst site to go for information on someone, like an alternative health practitioner. I mean, he would be heavily biased. But just the fact that they made a page about him shows me that he must have been doing something to stir up a bit of a commotion and somebody wanted to shut him down or shut him up. Dr. Bradstreet was doing what is known as biomed. Treating autism not as just a, a psychiatric condition that it just has no explanation, but as something that has some physical root causes like toxicity or inflammation or whatever. But he was doing GCMAF, globulin component macrophage activating factor. Basically, it was like a kind of immune therapy. Um, although it's not approved for that, apparently, and um, they wanted to get him on something. And from this article, it seems that they went in there trying to get him on some charges related to interstate commerce. Dr. Bradstreet had once testified in front of the vaccine court as an expert witness to make the case for vaccines and autism being related. So it's possible that they didn't get him and then he was murdered just to get him out of the way. I mean, it's theoretically possible or it's possible that, you know, he was tired of being persecuted and he did commit suicide. And the other two, it's possible that they were bumped off or maybe, you know, Dr. Sievers was murdered. Um, who knows? Maybe it could have been anyone. I mean, there's speculation and there's reason to speculate, which I'll get into, but there's no really like solid proof at this point. So what's the reason why we would speculate? Well, first of all, that I guess the FDA has a history of going after anyone who isn't towing the line and upholding the status quo and, you know, making sure that Big Pharma reigns supreme. I mean, you might remember Dr. Brzezinski down in Texas treating uh, cancer patients and they did everything they could to, to shut him down, even though his patients were attesting to the fact that he was helping them, you know, having them going into remission uh, or at least extending their lives where no one else could help them. So he was doing good work, patients were happy, and yet the government's trying to shut him down. And the thing is, there's actually this really long list of dead scientists. Here's the master list of dead scientists and microbiologists on rents.com. And you can find more additions to this list. Okay, this one's from before it's news, not the most reliable site, but you know, the list is not only there, it's around. And these people, you can look it up, they, they really did die. Now, some of the deaths could have just been deaths. I mean, there are all these microbiologists and scientists. Um, they're going to die at some point like anyone else. So, you know, some of them are probably going to be murdered. Just, I guess, based on random chance alone, it could happen now and then. But what's really weird is when you look at the individual cases, and it's been a while since I read the list in detail, but I remember at the time when I first read it and there was a case of a woman who was found in something like waist deep water bound at the feet at the ankles and the wrists and uh, drowned and it was ruled a suicide and she was in high heels that would have to be the most unusual suicide I have ever heard of a lot of the microbiologists were killed around 2004 2005 definitely there was a surge after 2001 some people think that this has to do with the fact that they were experts in, in virology and that there are some shadowy overlords out there who would like to engineer a viral pandemic and they need to get rid of all these kind of people first so they can do their deed and not have anyone blow the whistle on them i don't think it's so far-fetched to say that some people it, it, they rock the boat too much that, you know, there's a bit of a mafia type system going on in the medical pharmaceutical industry in cahoots with the government. It's a dirty business. I'm not surprised that some people get bumped off. But does that mean these three doctors were murdered because of their profession as naturopaths or, um, you know, autism researchers or biomed doctors? 
Not necessarily, but it is possible. And what does that say about the state of affairs? That it's kind of known that people who are really going to help people or who are really going to go against the grain of Big Pharma, you might just get eliminated. That's like a kind of tyranny, really. Like a mafia style, you do what we tell you, uh, we're going to send somebody to take care of you. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk about health freedom. You know, that's not freedom at all. So let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for giving this video a thumbs up. And thanks for listening to me. And I'll see you next time.